Hello friends, welcome to the point. In this session, we will be discussing about the ancient history and we will be starting with the stone age. So man was living in India roughly from 5 lakh BC and at, during this time, man used different kinds of unpolished tools, undressed tools, rough stones which have been found in South India and in the Son or Sohan river valley in Pakistan. So we can study the history only on the basis of road implements this people used and this is known as prehistory. So India is one of the earliest homes of man. but Historians have no unanimity of opinion regarding the exact place of origin of the man in India. So some scholars, they believe that the first man lived in Sivalik hills of Himalayas and others believe it to be in South India. So the existence of various races like Negroes, Mongolites, Dravidians, Alpines and so on, they complicate the issue of the origin of man. The present population of India, it is a result of intermixing of many races. But the most acceptable view is that Deccan was the first home of man. The prehistoric period, it is based on the stone implements and the metals that is used by the man and it is classified into six ages depending on the usage of these things and those ages are Paleolithic age, Mesolithic age, Neolithic age, Copper, Bronze and Iron age. So in this session we will be discussing only about the stone ages, they are Paleolithic Mesolithic and Neolithic Stone Ages. Paleolithic Age. So the word Paleo, it was derived from Greek word Paleo, which means old, and Lithic means stone. So Paleolithic, it is known as Old Stone Age. So this period, it existed between 40,000 to 10,000 BCE. So during this time, the man used rough and undressed stones that is fitted to stick or bone handles. They used a very hard stone called quartzite. And that's why the people in Paleolithic age, they are called as quartzite men. So the Paleolithic age people, they have no idea of the use of fire, pottery and agriculture. In this period, the man barely managed to gather his food and he lived on hunting. He had no knowledge of cultivation and house building. And this phase continued till 10,000 or 8000 BC. The Paleolithic tools which could be used during this period it have been found in Chota Nagpur Plateau and such tools belonging to 25,000 to 10,000 BC. They have found in Karnul district in Andhra Pradesh. The old stone age or the paleolithic culture of India, it was developed in Pleistocene period which means the ice age period and this is a geological period. So this period Pleistocene, it comes immediately before the geological period and this geological period it was called as 
होलोसिन और विच मीन्स अ रीसेंट पीरियड इन दिस प्लेस्टोसिन पीरियड द आइस शीट्स इट कवर्ड अ ग्रेटर पोर्शन ऑफ अर्थ सर्फेस एंड इट वॉज पर्टिकुलरली इन द हाई एल्टीट्यूड्स एंड द पेरीफेरीज बट द ट्रॉपिकल रीजन्स except the mountains they were free from ice so on the other hand they underwent a period of great rainfall phases in paleolithic age the old stone age or the paleolithic age in india it was divided into three phases and this was divided according to the nature of stone tools that were used by the people and according to the nature of change in the climate the first phase it is called as early or lower paleolithic and the second phase it is called as middle paleolithic and the third phase it is called as upper paleolithic the lower paleolithic or the early old stone age it covers a greater part of ice age and its characteristic feature is a use of hand axes so this is hand axes and a cleavers this stone tools they were mainly used for chopping the early old stone age sites are found in the valley of river sone in punjab the lower paleolithic tools they have also been found in a belan valley in mirzapur district in uttar pradesh the belan sites they contain caves and rock shelters so which would have served as a seasonal camps for human beings this hand axes they have been found in a deposit of the time of the second himalayan glaciation so in this period climate became less humid when the climate became less humid it was the starting of middle paleolithic that is the middle old stone age so in this age industries were based upon flakes so these are flakes so this flakes they are found in different parts of india and they show a regional variation the principal tools or variety of scrapers which is made of flakes so we also find a large number of borers and a uh, blade like structures so the middle old stone age sites in india they are found in a sone valley so the artifacts of this age they are also found in several places of river narmada and also at several places of south tungabhadra river upper paleolithic age so this is a third phase in the paleolithic age and this phase it was less humid in this phase it is coincide with the last phase of the ice age when climate became comparatively warm so according to the world context it is known for the appearance of new flint industries that means a stone industries of men and modern type so in india we notice the use of blades and burins so which have been found in andhra karnataka maharashtra bhopal and chota nagpur plateau so caves and rock shelters for use by human beings in upper paleolithic phase it have been discovered at beam bedka so this beam bedka cave it is 
फोर्टी किलोमीटर साउथ ऑफ भोपाल हैंड एक्सेस क्लीवर्स ब्लेड्स स्क्रैपर्स एंड अ फ्यू बर्स दे हैव बीन फाउंड इन अपर पैलियोलिथिक एंड इन दिस साइट्स दे हैव बीन फाउंड एंड अपर पैलियोलिथिक असेंब्लेज इट कैरेक्टराइज बाय मैसिव फ्लेक्स ब्लेड्स ब्यूरिन्स एंड स्क्रैपर्स and they have also been found in the upper levels of the gujarat dunes so it is very difficult to estimate the beginning of the paleolithic age so it is said in the world context human remains they are associated with stone tools and they are very old as 3.5 million years but it seems that through several stages the modern human being that is the homo sapiens they first appeared in the upper paleolithic age so it appears that the paleolithic sites they are found practically in all parts of our country except the alluvial plains of the indus and the ganga mesolithic age the upper paleolithic age it came to an end with the end of ice age around 10000 to 8000 bc and the climate it became warm and dry so the climatic changes it brought about changes in fauna and flora and made it possible for human beings to move to new areas so there were no major changes in the climatic conditions from 8000 bc it began an intermediate stage in stone age culture and that intermediate stage in stone age culture is what we call mesolithic age so this Mes- mesolithic age it intervened a transitional phase between two ages one is paleolithic age and the other is neolithic age since this age is between these two ages it is simply called as intermediate stage or mesolithic age so in case of india this mesolithic age it started about 8000 bc and it continued up to 4000 bc the tools of this period they are generally small when compared to paleolithic age so they generally vary between half inch to 1 inch when compared with paleolithic age so in this phase the man prepared polished weapons with holes and shapes to weapons the mesolithic man he was hunter gatherer and fisherman he also knew the use of fire in paleolithic age the people were not aware of fire but in this age the people came to know the use of fire in this age the people learned to manufacture pots and they became herdsman and they buried the dead bodies also the mesolithic sites are found in a good numbers in chota nagpur central india and also south of river krishna and so far only few finds of mesolithic age have been dated scientifically but there is no doubt that this remains they were found before the neolithic age so it is very interesting to note that on the northern spurs of vindhyas in belan valley all the three phases of the paleolithic followed by mesolithic and then by neolithic they are found in sequence neolithic age the word neolithic it is derived from greek words neo and lithic 
so neo means new and lithic means stone so neolithic age means new stone age according to the world context this new stone age it began very earlier in 7000 bc but neolithic settlements in our subcontinent in our indian subcontinent it is not older than 6000 bc some settlements they are found in south india and some in eastern india and few they are found very late as 1000 bc so the people of this age they use the tool and implements of a polished stones so this people they particularly used stone axes this have been found in a large number throughout the greater part of our country and this cutting tool that is stone axes it was put to various uses by people and it is said that in ancient legends called parashurama he became an important axe wielding hero so based on the types of axes which is used by neolithic settlers we notice three important areas of neolithic settlements one area is to be found in north in the valley of kashmir at a place called burja home at a distance of about 20 km from shrinagar so the neolithic people they lived there on plateau in pits the weapons used by this people it were chipped ground grewed and polished so they had different forms to serve different purposes the man during this period he learned cultivation and he domesticated animals like cow sheep goat and so on they lived in caves and decorated the, those caves with paintings and carvings so in those paintings the hunting and dancing scenes can be found so they decorated their pottery they built boats to sail into the sea and this people also knew weaving they used wool and cotton to manufacture clothes their food it included fruits vegetables roots animals flesh milk products and so on so this neolithic age people they also knew cooking so this people used ornaments like beads bracelets bangles armlets and so on so this lifestyle of this neolithic man it is different in different parts of our country and it is also based on his geographical condition so this people they worship ancestors and spirits they cremated the dead ones and they preserved those ashes the practice of human sacrifice it was in og and many human skulls they are found during the excavation we learned that based on the types of axes used by neolithic settlers we notice three important areas of neolithic settlements and one area it is found in north in the valley of kashmir so at a place called burja home which is at a distance of about 20 km from shrinagar the neolithic people lived there on a plateau in pits and they probably had hunting and fishing economy the second group of neolithic people they lived in south india in the south of river godavari 
and they usually settled on top of granite hills so which we can say it as a plateaus near river banks so these people they use stone axes and they and also they use some kind of stone blades and fire baked earthen figurines suggest that they kept a number of large cattle and they possessed cattle sheep and goats so this people in south india they used rubbing stone rubbing stone quens so and this shows that they were acquainted with the art of producing grains and the third area from which the neolithic tools have been recovered is in the hills of assam the neolithic tools they are found in garo hills in meghalaya on the north eastern frontier of india so in addition to this we also found a number of neolithic settlements on the northern spurs of vindhyas in mirzapur alhabad district of uttar pradesh and so on the neolithic settlers in pikli hal they were cattle herders they domesticated cattle sheep goats and so on they set up seasonal camps and they surrounded by cow pens which is made with post and stakes so in this enclosure they are accumulated with cow dung then the entire camping ground it was put to fire and cleared for camping in the next season so both ash mounds and habitation sites have been discovered in this pikilal and later the neolithic settlers they were agriculturist and they lived in circular or a rectangular houses and this circular or rectangular houses it was made up of mud and reed and it is held the primitive people living in circular houses they owned property in common and in any case this neolithic people they led a settled life so this people they produced ragi and horse gram so their polished tools also included microlithic blades so since this people they settled in one place they started cultivation and domestication of animals they needed something to store this food items grains and all those things so they invented pot to store this food grains and milk and they use this pot for cooking and eating also so they made hand handmade pottery in the earlier stage and later they used a foot wheels to turn up the pots so the people of the stone age they suffered from one great limitation that is they have to depend entirely on tools and weapons that is made out of stone and they could not find settlements which is far away from the hilly areas they could settle down only in the hilly river valleys and even with a great effort they could not produce more than what they needed for their bare subsistence this was the only limitation in the neolithic age so in the next session let's discuss about the stone copper phase thank you